Hello everyone, I'm your host Luke, and this is my brother Aaron, um, Duncan Smith on, uh, what, Twitter, right? Twitter, yeah, yeah. and Hearthstone. And we're fighting a worthy opponent, he's Gul'dan playing, versus uh, Egglock, Zoo, and Standard, currently at, uh, Diamond 5, and going with it. Shaman's an interesting match, uh, We'll keep all this. This is good. Having the, having the egg with the grimoire uh, is very good for clearing their early board, and this will help you know ping something like the Wailing Vapor off the two damage. So this this hand works together. Normally I would just keep the egg, but with all these cards it works together very well. No turn one, that kind of sucks. Oh well, it's what we... So is it built around this thing? Somewhat, yeah. I mean, eggs in general are minions that don't really do anything, except they have a good death rattle that you want to try to trigger. And this uh, is a this deck game. you came up with, right? It, not ex not fully. Uh, I based it off of a list I actually found from a guy named Chump, uh, who's a YouTuber. Uh, he makes very good content. I'd recommend checking him out. I adapted the deck, as you can see in the uh, deck code on screen. Would have been nice to have tour guide last turn. Oh well. But, but yeah, you, you come up with a lot of your own deck ideas. I do. Yes. Yeah, and that's why you should follow him on Twitter. True. I, to be honest, I only come up with about two or three a month. But I really try to go into the tank to find cards that are good that it, decks that are good that will work um and actually have a positive win rate the wind fury is where they like attack twice right yes okay so we're able to destroy a good amount of his board not all of it um they still have coin i believe uh no they they already use coin so, do we attack his guy? I don't think we do. Like, he still gets to attack twice. He only has three mana next turn. The best thing he could do probably is um, the uh, whack and roll hammer. So this is a three four, and it could trade these off anyways. So I think it's better to hold off this and wait to try to pump it with Wicked Whispers. Can you whispers. attack him? This has rush. So, no. That, that's what I was explaining. No. We should not in this case. If it was a 2-2, two -two, yes. By all means. But as it was, no. Do you pay money for for the back of the The card backs, cards? no. They're often part of bundles, which you pay money for. But I think all card backs are now accessible on um, in the store. Him fully trading there was fine, and this is a very good set of draw for us. We don't have active tempo here, but we are having passive tempo um, by generating value off this. If he doesn't kill it right away, we get a second. 2-2. Two, two. I really like Meeting Stone. Uh, I try to cram Meeting Stone into any aggro deck I can, especially ones that have buffs, such as Wicked Whispers. I posted a Druid deck that runs it, uh, that had uh, Mark of the Spike Shell, um, Mark of the Wild, and Arbor Up as buffs, as well as some other incidental buffs. So anything I can run Meeting Stone in, I'm going to do. What's his ability? The one on the left. He generates dream cards for you. So you get a total of two dream cards, and then he pops out as a 3 3 later. So the question here is how do we want to use Wicked Whispers? Um, he has a glut of weapons in his hand now. So I think we want to. So one option would be to play these. We have a 3-3 three, three and a 4-6. 
and a 1-3 if we do the Wicked Whispers option. I think we want to do Kazakus so we can come back on board later. And I think we want to get a 5. Like, we're, we're basically setting up for later in the game. I think we want Rush. We're going to have to catch up on board. Uh, and dealing 3 to 2 minions seems good here. And we'll go ahead and play Wicked Whispers so that our 4-4 four four is better into his whack and ol hammer. And this just doesn't die to one of the 2-2s. Two so, yes, not the best Wicked Whispers in the world, but it plays into what we're expecting to see from our opponent next turn. Also, you know, if he lily pad lurkers this, that's fine. There's better options he could, so I'm fine with that. And he can't fire elemental this turn either. So the 4-4 four four makes it slightly awkward for him. And, you know, hoping to kind of take a hit this turn and come back next turn with more stuff. I would have liked to see the, you know, either Dream or heck even Nightmare or the Ysera Awakens off of this guy just to have more play around than just big minions. But I think it'll work fine. How long do you get in a turn? 60 seconds? I think it's 75 seconds and then the rope is 15 seconds. Okay, so that could have gone much worse. I think this is definitely a greater golem turn. Ooh, that's cool. Yep, yeah, that works well. And we're gonna hero power. Sure. And full clear. So if he has another Earth Revenant, it's not. It, it's pretty good, but not a death sentence here. Lilypad Lurker is going to be bad, and even Fire Elemental is not great next turn. So that worked out pretty well. The uh, Golem was very good. Oh, yeah, and to answer your question, this I bought a GameStop. It was like part of a bundle, but it was 100 The microphone? Yeah. Cool. And it came up the stand. So. Yeah, that's pretty cool. No, I'm, I'm not... One of those YouTubers where I like, you know, like the arm thing. You know, it's like a deck mounted or whatever. Yeah. Where like, <laughs> that to me just makes you feel like a streamer or something, you know? Yeah, definitely. Is it weird he's not doing more totems? No. Totems suck. Yeah. He has good cards to play instead. It's like one of four, right? Five? Four. Yeah, four. four. All right, uh, that turn was fine. I think we just want to play a bunch of two drops here. I think, like, playing all our twos. You will obey. Maybe not. I think we want to go pretty wide here. I don't think we're I don't think we're playing wriggling horror this turn. The three mana off Fiendish Circle fits well this turn, and it won't next turn. So I think we want to kind of diversify our threats here. Does he have a board clear in his class? He just has the Earth Revenant, which he's already played one, so I'm hedging that he doesn't have the second one. It would be very good here, but I'm thinking he won't have it. And it doesn't look like it will. Cool. So our play that we did lines up very well against uh, him playing all of the confection. Wait, sugar items. elemental? Yeah. It's a, it's a cotton candy stick. Nice. So both of these wriggling horrors are pretty good here. Because that helps you clear his board, right? Yep. So we'll just clean up some stuff. Oh, it doesn't buff again. Nope. Tree and we'll this play, and the, play the big dragon. Yep. Okay. We're in a pretty good spot. So, yeah, eat that three damage. Yeah. We have a we have a high health 
So we're not going to be bursted here. Lily pad lurker is not the end of the world. Fire elemental is not the end of the world. And we have high hopes. So, yeah. I believe that's high, high hopes. Yes. Oh, well. Never claimed I could say. Okay, I think we're tapping here. Not the best tap. So I think we just want to play all our stuff uh, and clear. In order to do that, we'll have to clear his stuff. It does miss out on seven face damage, but I think just, you know, staying at him is best. We'll get rid of all our one health stuff that's sticking around. Just dump all our cards. Eat that clown. Or shaman thing. Yeah. So, a head on board, a head on life. Here's where the tap hero power is obviously going to be very good. <clears throat> Our late game options are quite weak, admittedly, but that is, it is what it is. I'm going to go stand in the corner and think about what he did. <laughs> so, he's out of weapons. That's good. And he probably just has... Oh, man. That's pretty good. Man, Dunk Tank... That card's been, been pretty tilting recently. That card's very good. But he's out of stuff. And at this stage of the game, our hero power is much better than his. So that's pretty sweet. Um, unfortunately, I think we have to trade. But I think we should be able to stay on uh, ahead on board the rest of the game. We'll see, though. Our hero power is better, but his top decks, I would say, on average, are better. And the cycle of life is yeah, that was a pretty good draw. New. Okay, do we have anything that can... We are not able to hero power now. Okay. Boom! <laughs> we, need to, we need to trade here and get taunt. Can we do it? 2-2 two, two, taunt. Come on, flying spaghetti box. No, nope. that's not it. Okay, well, let's see what's on top of our deck. And yep, eat that or thing. Too bad. Man, dunk tank. Very good card. Mm. It's base like if you corrupt it, obviously it's like a much much stronger swipe, which that's. That's a pretty good card, because Swipe, as it is, is a good card. So, unfortunate that he had that there. I mean, pretty likely that he'd have it, especially with the uh, Dungeoneer now. They have more card draw, but just too bad, because we're ahead otherwise. Do you not have any skins for that guy? I choose not to use him. I... I have the golden hero, which you get for 500 wins, and I'm currently working on my 1,000 win one. So I have other skins, but I choose not to use them. Which one is King Rostakon? Shaman. Shaman. Uh, it's, he's using the 1,000 win. Demon Hunter, right? Demon Hunter, yes. Okay, this could be a very good hand. Um, I don't know the ideal way to play this here. Hopefully we can draw the Hopefully we can draw the zero mana spell here pretty soon. <laughs> Even egg and then turn three Terran is pretty good in this matchup, because that's the early tempo with larger creatures that we need to be successful against Demon Hunter. Alright, him not having a razor bore here is very good. Um yeah, I think just hero power here is all we can do, unfortunately. Oh, that's very good draw. So next turn, we'll get four 1-1s one and a 4-4 four four and a 5-5. Five five. Pretty good. Boom! And that should be good enough to win the game, I think. Get right, Demon Hunter. Especially following up with Terran and Grimoire. Looks like no 1,001 yeah. one win for you. I grow impatient. That's some savage, Owned. savage uh, 
sm smash talk there. That word is uh, Okay. I talked about this in our review video. Dungar here. I don't think it'll be meaningful this game. He looks like a meme card. Right? Okay, he'll get 10 health in three turns. Great. All right, so four one ones and a four four and a five five. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is a pretty good combo. Those three cards in particular in standard: Ruby and Egg, Ritual of Doom, and Fiendish Circle. How many guys That's can you good. have out on the board? Seven. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Do you remember Magic is like unlimited, right? Yes. Okay. That's pretty good draw there. I guess it's fairly likely he has Fell Rattler there. Unfortunate. Even sticking one big minion here is pretty good. Um, I think we want to Hero Power. Just build up our resources again. Yeah, tour guide's a good draw. Okay, so Dungar will be relevant this game. Um, <laughs> Believe it or not, we're trying to kill the other guy. <laughs> yeah. And him having the Fell Rattler there makes that worse. Man, double... Okay. That's probably good enough to win in the game. Uh, unfortunate. That's basically two board clears. Talking to Swipe and Dunk Tank, I mean, Fell Rattler is basically Swipe, right? Oh, I hate Swipe. Um, so, yeah. Ritual of Doom, not so good anymore. We have all these, like, tech cards that really need us to have a board to be successful. Um, I think I'm going to play Terran here just to... Since we have the other triggers for our eggs... And the 3 4 will line up well into the 3 3 next turn. And it gives us a death rattle. So, I don't know. It's not ideal, but Thanks, better than our other options. It sucks that we're already 16 points down from our opponent. Yep. Not the best claw machine in the world, but I mean, our opponent's so far ahead here that doesn't really matter. He's already back up to full. Yeah, I mean, he board cleared us twice, which for an aggro deck is about game over. So I'm not, I don't have too high of hopes for the rest of this game. Is it kind of like a swarm deck? Yes, exactly. Uh, that was a misplay. <laughs> Oops. I should have. I shouldn't have used that. I should have uh, used Grimoire. Okay. Um, we're just gonna Wicked Whispers. That's a fine discard. Yeah, let's clear that. Protect, like, our meeting stone. Hopefully get some value off of it. So here's a position where I think the new card Peasant would be interesting, right? It probably would have lived. It would be a 3-2. And getting more cards here is obviously very good for us. Gosh dang. Wow. Yeah. That 7-drop is very good. Okay, Kazakus is one of our better draws. That we can have. Let's, um, we need a 5 drop here. We won't live to having a 10 drop. We may even need to take 1. We kind of have to go all in from here. Um, none of these are super relevant. Buffing our team is definitely what we wanted here, yes. This is definitely a Grimoire turn. 
so let's do that. Let's see what stuff he summons. Okay, nothing off the bell board. Let's see what four drop he has. Shouldn't you attack? We should attack, yes. I'm actually not super worried about that. We should be able to kill it later. I think it's better to go phase. Yeah, eat that. We know he doesn't have the uh, three drop um, death's head cultist because it would have come in off the razor bore. So hypothetically, he doesn't have any life gain here. So that, that was a good turn for us. We probably still lose, but we're back in it slightly. Don't worry, bro. I got those smack talk covered for you. Okay. Yeah. That's a good draw. We'll take that. So, I mean, let's be real, guys. It's entirely possible that he just destroys us next turn with um, the Inquisitor, which would really suck. But we'll do what we can. So, we're, I mean, we probably just lose. He drops Inquisitor, attacks our face, dead. But we gave it our best. Yep, he's emoting. Oh, cool. The other eight mana, uh, the other eight damage to face. <laughs> well, too bad. The stupid dragon. We lost to Alex Draws both games. Uh, yeah, we did. We. If he had whiffed, if the shaman had whiffed one or two turns there and not immediately drawn the highest cost card in his deck, we probably would have won that game. And then. We were so far behind in the Demon Hunter game, that was kind of brutal. We had clawed our way back towards the end, but didn't quite get there. So, anyways, 0 2, over and out. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Too bad we couldn't get that. Get some wins Seems for like you there. Seems like a good deck, though. Yeah, it's pretty good. And, you know, I probably slightly misplayed that second game with the. the uh, just leaving all the one ones um, right into the fell rat rattler. I should have waited just one more turn and pumped up everything one one. That would have given us a much better situation. Uh, he did have the follow up fell rattler, so who knows if it would have been enough? Um, probably not because he would have healed off the Dungar at that point. So interesting uh, tug and pull there. Anyways. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Luke, you want to take us home? Yeah. So just disclaimer, we are not sponsored by DeWalt, but we are sponsored by Sharks, Inc., which isn't a real company, so it doesn't matter. Um, this has been your host, Luke, uh, my lovely brother, A.A. Ron. Uh, follow him on uh, Twitter at Duncan Smith Hearthstone. Is that it? Yep. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Uh, thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe for more. And I hope you guys have a good day. Peace out.